Simon and Ephoma testify. We thank Almighty God for breakthrough and deliverance. He made a way where there seemed to be no way. We went through financial drought. My business became stagnant and my wife lost her job at the same time. For months, we were without any source of livelihood. But in all, we kept the faith and remained committed to his word. At the October Thanksgiving service, Pastor I.D. made a declaration that someone will receive a call and an email from the beginning of the new week and before the end of the week will change their story. Then God said, I will send help in the first week. Hallelujah. And the last week. So somebody should expect either a phone call, a meeting, an email that will transform your life for the better. On Monday, just after the last dance, I received that phone call. Amen? That changed my world for good. And in that same week, my wife received an email for a new job with an awesome package. Isn't God good? This is like a dream. But wow, it's complete. It's a complete reality. God is indeed faithful. Good morning, church, and welcome to this week's edition of COD News. My name is Yomi. Over the years, the story of the Arise Women's Conference has been that of hope, comfort, meeting the needs of the economically disadvantaged, creating access to medical care, and empowerment. This was the case with thousands of women converging here last Saturday, the 28th of October, 2017, for the ninth edition of the Arise Women's Conference, tagged Branded for Christ. The women were blessed through the word, the ministration of songs by various gospel artists, as well as free medical services, and more remarkably, the support given to the visually impaired students and staff at the Rebecca House in Queen's College, Lagos. All this and more could not have been made possible without the support and partnership of the wonderful people at City of David. In light of this, the convener of the Arise Women's Conference, our very own Pastor Shiju and the Arise Women, would like to say a big thank you to everyone and pray that the Lord will continue to empower you all onto greater works in Jesus' name. We shall continue on this series this Tuesday as we meet again for the Digging for Gold service here in the sanctuary at 6.30 p.m. It shall also be a time for the Holy Communion service. While on Wednesday, the handmaidens shall be meeting for a time of fellowship here in the sanctuary starting at 12.30. Then on Thursday, we shall be meeting for the Prayer, Praise and Pentecost service holding here in the sanctuary at 6.30 p.m. On Friday, we shall be meeting for an awesome session of praise and worship at our He's Lord Praise Hour starting at 12 noon here in the Sanctuary. Network Business Club of Our CCG present an experience session with Juliet Anama, CEO, Jumia, Nigeria, as she discusses the involvement of technology in business. Date, December 1st, 2017. Venue. Four points by Sheraton, Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. Time, 2 to 4 p.m. For registration and sponsorship, please contact the following numbers on your screen or visit www.net-works.biz. The event is proudly sponsored by Channel Drill Resources Limited, First Tricon, Santros Securities Limited, Sacros, 
Amazon Energy, Iliomade and Iliomade and Co. Legal Practitioner. The Night of Worship 2017, Revealing His Glory. With Travis Green. Hey everybody, this is Travis Green. I am super duper lit and pumped about coming back to Lagos, Nigeria for the night of worship. Last year it was out of this world. This year it's going to be phenomenal as well. November 17th, I need everybody there. Man, I cannot wait. I need you to hashtag NOW and go ahead and follow at NOW online. NG. November 17th is going down Lagos, Nigeria, night of worship. I can't wait. I'm coming to bring my crew and we're just going to worship as long as we can. All right. I love you so much. See you soon. On the 17th of November, 2017, at the Grenadines Open Ground, Landmark Row of Legali Ayori Day Street, Victoria Island, Lagos. For more information, log on to nightsofworshiponline.org. It is going to be a night of worship. On Wednesday, the 1st of November, the Riverbank School played host to the launch of the Girls for Tech initiative, promoted by the Youth for Technology Foundation, an American-based company in partnership with MasterCard. The initiative, which is a hands-on inquiry-based program that seeks to connect the foundations of business to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics principles is designed to inspire young girls to build the requisite skills they need to become future leaders. The special guest at the event, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, gave the keynote address and the children were left inspired. Carpe Diem, the early morning fellowship of a community of Christians, will be holding a special program on the 14th of November. The program tagged Breakout shall be holding at the Giwa Project, Falamore Roundabout, Ikoi, at 6.30 a.m. So take time out to attend. The airing of the Bible series movie shall continue this Friday at 6 p.m. at the Teen Church. The title for this week's is Courage. You are all invited. As we bring our news broadcast to a close, we pray that the Lord will make a way where there seems to be none, make the impossible possible for our sake, accede to all of our long-time requests and grant us our 11th hour blessing in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.